This is my presentation about the life of John Muir. He was born 1838 in Scotland and at age 11 moved to the United States where he worked on his family's farm in Wisconsin and sometimes would even work up to 17 hour days. Here he also invented, especially clocks as seen in this image above, and even invented this thing called an early rising bed that would physically tip a person out of bed in the morning when they wanted to get up. And this talent with mechanics got him a job as an engineer in a factory in Indianapolis. But pretty soon after, he got an eye injury that left him blind for two months and caused him to give up his stable job and to pursue a life of adventure and travel and landed him in Yosemite Valley. He, in this valley, developed his theory about how the valley was created, which he believed was by glaciers during the Ice Age. And at this time, the geologists and researchers ridiculed his theory, but as time went on and modern research was introduced, uh, it was found out that his theory was actually closer than any of these other researchers of the time. The next thing that John Muir did was a three-day camping trip with President Teddy Roosevelt. And the two men met in Yosemite and discussed including Mariposa Grove and Yosemite Valley into Yosemite National Park that was created earlier by President Cleveland, which they both agreed upon and actually happened within the year. Another thing that John Muir is well known for is his talent for writing and his books and articles. He would basically take a hike or a trip and write what he saw and did in his journals and then edit it and make it into books and articles. And these would include stories and facts and illustrations and were so intriguing that it gained public support for conservation projects. Um, one that's especially important is the middle one, Our National Parks, which actually caught the attention of Teddy Roosevelt and inspired the three-day camping trip on the previous slide. The last big project that John Muir did before his death was to try to fight the Hetch Hetchy Valley Dam. And this is an image of the valley before the dam was built. And despite his work, it was in fact built in 1913. And here's an image of it after, um, as the valley was flooded, but it did provide power and clean water to San Francisco. Uh, about a year after this incident, John Muir died of pneumonia at age 76. But um, despite his death, his legacy lived on, and he is on the California coin from 2005 and is in the California Hall of Fame. He also is well known for his work in getting national parks established and the club that he founded in 1892 called the Sierra Club, which mainly focused on land preservation and did a wonderful job as 431 parks and our monuments were created. Um, up to basically 2015. And right now the club is working on fighting offshore drilling and protecting endangered species as seen in this graph picture thing. And here are some images of the parks that he helped to create. This one being Sequoia National Park, um, Grand Canyon, another image of Yosemite, and finally Mount Rainier. And that is it. Thank you.